Look at this guy. I absolutely love it. Oh! Oh no. What is up everybody? Collector Joey here back again with another big move episode. So today we are going to be dealing with these things right here. We all know and love them. They are Detoffs. Now, this is going to be a very interesting episode because I am by myself. So this is going to be everywhere. If I break something, you guys will see it. Uh, hopefully I don't though. I'll show you the process of how I'm going to be moving these things from upstairs to downstairs by yourself. It's probably not the safest thing, but it's going to happen. I do have a few things like uh, some hot toys in here. I have a uh, Doc Ock and I have Carnage. I also have this Iron Man construction Iron Man and a portrait of Heath Ledger on top of all that. And there's still all the wires and lighting in there. So what I'm going to do first is get all the wires and lighting out of the Detoff, well, not the lighting, but the uh, wires from underneath, unplug them, and then I will tape the wires inside of the Detoff. So all I have to do is plug and play next time. But that's what we're gonna get doing. So I'll show you the first one without it being on time lapse, and then we'll time lapse it after the first one, and then we'll uh, get we'll get them at least to the stairs, and then we'll pick up from there. So here we go. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna do is pull out the detoffs a little bit so I can get behind there and disconnect all the wires and get them all loose so I will be able to tape them inside of the detoff. So this could go horribly wrong or amazing at the same time. I don't know. Okay. Boom. All right, so there is no lighting or anything. So I'm just showing you guys what it looks like behind here. If you could see, there's a lot of wiring and things I'm gonna have to get to right now, but let's keep going. I think my best bet is to unplug everything right now. Glad I'm gonna get Maji cases soon. I'm tired of dealing with it. I probably still will deal with this with Maji cases, but got plugs in here. But here's kind of what it looks like to power all these. Um, loop lights and everything. I don't know if you could see it. I don't want to pull on it, but here's every single one of them in this one power bank. It's crazy. But I'm plugging each one of them so that will kind of loosen up every detox. There we go. That was what was powering all these things. If you want to know what it is, RAV Power USB. Uh, type of hub so that's what it is and a lot of these are on these wise um, smart plugs that you can turn off and on with your phone wise has a very good system I really recommend it also I got this this kind of hides everything uh, in, in one in one go so if you put all the power cords in here and there's usually a top I think I already packed it but uh, that hides all your wires and it's not like wooden or anything so it can't catch on fire i believe this is to the hot toys light we will get here soon i'm just gonna put all of this in a bag everything so i know exactly what you know it came wh what's what and i know that with all these wires it's gonna work somehow i made it work the first time but here's all the wires now i'm gonna there's a hole back here i'm gonna just push them all through there now, like I said, I still do have my CCFLs. One is right there, that's Darth Vader. And then one is down here, that is uh, Obi-Wan. So there's that one. I do have an Anakin one, but uh, I think I already packed it. It was easier to get. So let me take these out. There's one out. Make sure I put it in a safe spot. And the next one should be just as easy. There we go. It's out. All right, I'm gonna grab all the wires. Hello, from the back now. Um, the silver ones are attached um, to the Detoff. So those are the Luke lights. 
So next thing I'm going to do is of course, take out this Carnage, this Doc Ock, and the Iron Man up here. You can smell the Hot Toys plastic. Look at this guy. You guys know and love this one. <laughs> ah, damn, mosquito bit the crap out of me. And here is the Doc Ock taking it over here. Now what I have to do, and you guys probably won't have to do this, but I have matte black shelves. So how I did that was construction paper. I'm gonna take those all out and put them somewhere safe so they don't bend or tear. All right, got all the construction paper out of the way. Now we can start taking down this canvas behind me. Right, this is one of my favorite canvases, so I don't want to mess this up. Oh, dang. I don't think many of you guys have been able to see this, but this is a beautiful canvas, I think at least. I don't know if you can see it. Sophia is so dusty, but there it is. There is the Joker canvas. It's a long canvas. I reviewed it in one of my earlier videos, but I absolutely love it. So now I'm going to tape the wires for these loop lights onto the base of the DTOF. Now how I'm doing this is getting some painter's tape right here. It's a little dusty, so I am going to wipe that off and I get the cable right here. I just wrap it around my fingers like this. That length right there, put it down. Just tape the wires down like that. Pretty simple, let's see. That's all you got to do right there. Now they are stuck on there until you open them up again. I might put another piece of tape on here just so I know they're secure, but now everything's ready to go and we're ready to take the detoffs down. Now it is the time to get the detoffs from on top of the riser to the ground. And I bet you're asking yourself, Joey, how are you going to get the detoffs from up here, down here by yourself? Well, now I have the help of me, myself. So I am going to do this. It might be a little bit funny how I'm going to do this, but, uh, and it might hurt my back and I don't recommend doing it, but uh, right now Myra's not here. So I gotta get this down and put over on the other side of this wall. Uh, when I get it down, I'm gonna show you what I'm going to do to keep the drawers closed and keep it all protected and not get scratched and everything like that. So here we go, I'll show you the first one. So essentially, <laughs> essentially what I'm going to do is pick it up and put it on the ground. So here we go. Um, I'm trying, I'm gonna try not to moon you guys while doing this too, but I grab the back of the detoff and underneath and kind of slowly get it off. Like I said, if this breaks, this is real time. This is real time, guys. You gotta boss up. And knees, knees, knees. Woo. That's one, that's one. So boom, we got the first one off. It is really dusty. Uh, and, and you know what? I just realized that that probably sounded terrible. So if, if you don't hear it, uh, I'm sorry. But boom, one detoff, ready to go. Now, what I wanna show you guys is how I'm going to protect these. Now, uh, last time I took off the uh, lighting, but I'm not doing that this time. Now, what I have here is some saran wrap. So what I'm going to do essentially is wrap this all around the detoff till it gets to where the doors are you know, closed. It's pretty good all together. And I'm gonna do that with all five of them. Hopefully I have enough. I think I do, but I guess we'll see. But here we go, let's get it started. Okay, so I got it all wrapped, but while I was doing it, I kind of noticed something is that it was very, the door was very tight against the detoff. So what I did is kind of went in here and I tore a little bit off just so it could give it a little bit more wiggle room, the door. So it's not super tight and it won't break everything. 
So that's kind of a tip that you guys can use. Now I'm going to do a time lapse of doing all the other ones, but let's get this one moved out of here first. I don't have a dolly guys. I have to make a call real quick. I have the dolly now. So we're just gonna, oh gosh. So we're just gonna put it on the dolly and hope for the best. I know the legs are probably kind of uneven under it, but you gotta be very careful. I put some towels and saran wrap on the towels to help it grip a little bit. And now there we go. We got this. Let's take it to the living room now. And this isn't even the hard part yet. Okay guys, so the moment you guys have been waiting for and the moment that I haven't been waiting for, but I'm gonna do it. I have all the details here inside of the uh, living room area. Here they are, saran wrapped very loosely. Uh, so I got the first one just ready to go and it's gonna go down these stairs. You probably can't see it because it's dark down there, motion sensor light, but we're going down there and there's Sophia just looking like I don't know what I'm doing. So. This is the probably biggest possibility of something going wrong. So I know a lot of people probably want to see that and we'll see if something goes wrong, but, uh, but I'm not going to do a time lapse. I'm just going to go with it and we'll see what happens. So let's get to it. All right, guys, this is either going to be a horrible fail or successful. I don't know. Glass is already making a lot of noise. Okay, here we go. All right, first step's always the worst. You gotta kind of gauge it. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay, okay. That wasn't... We are getting a little wobbly here. Okay. If it falls, I'll have it. I feel like the pin is gonna fall out, but we're gonna try it anyways. Just go slow and steady. Good thing there's like rubber mats. Okay, good so far. All right. Ah, oh, there we go. Now I do have four more steps right here. I'm not gonna do those, but first one, it's good. These are small steps, so. Hopefully it's all good. All right, round two guys, round two. Firmly grasp it, if you guys know what that is. Oh shoot. Sophia, could you please move? Firmly grasp it. Bro, one of these are, are gonna have to break. Don't tell me how it happened, but that's two. So the reason why I'm putting them in backwards is when I open the garage, I'll be able to get the back of them easier. Number three, guys. You know, the good thing is, is that I probably burned off all the Chick-fil-A that I just ate, so let's go. Look at this dog. Oh man, I wasn't ready for that one either. Number three. Excuse me, ma'am. Thank you. Two more to go. Number four. You guys wonder how movers do this all day long? I don't know how they do it. Oh, oh no. Oh man. 
Last step. Oh, there it is. All right, guys, so we have the last DTOF right here. And if I had one thing to take away from DTOFs up the stairs and, and this whole thing that I'm doing, it's two words, never again, guys, never again. So here we go, last one. And there we have it guys. I hope you guys appreciated that video. It was a lot of work, but it was very fun to do for you guys. Uh, it wasn't easy putting all these detox down here, but I got it done. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, also, this is episode three. Next episode will be four. And that's going to be me putting these in the back of my truck and transporting them also with all the hot toy boxes. So I can't wait for that one. I can't wait to show you guys that one too. We're getting very close guys. So tell me what you think about it down there in the comment section below. Also, while you're down there, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.